So I'm going to show you real quick how to get your Edpuzzle set up. So if you're watching this, I already assume that you kind of know what Edpuzzle is and what it does. And if not, definitely check out the other video um, from Bob Masterton uh, that was sent out. Um, but this is going to tell you just how to set it up um, short and sweet. I'm not going to go through every single feature, but just to kind of give you the basics. Okay. So first off, you're going to log in with your Google account and you'll have your home screen. And then what you need to do is import your classes from Classroom. So the easiest way to do that is go over to your classes, add new class, and then choose Google Classroom, and then grab all the classes that you want to grab from Google Classroom. And then it'll import all your classes. So that's step one, just get all your classes in there. Step two now is going to be to make a video and assign them a video. So at the simplest level, what Edpuzzle will let you do is it'll let you make a video and do nothing to it and send it out to them and you can at least see that kids viewed your video. But what most people choose to do is they choose to put little notes or questions along the way um, so they really get a gauge of understanding or help their kids understand it a little better. So let me show you kind of how that works. So what you do is go over to your content, right? So what most people do is they'll um, choose a YouTube video, um, whether it's a video that you made and put on YouTube or a YouTube video by itself. And so, and then they will use that. So if you're just getting started, this is a great place to start. So if I'm doing, let's just say phenotypes as a seventh grade science person, okay? I might love this video, okay? And so then what you would do is you're going to assign it to your class. So the first thing you would do is hit edit and it's gonna ask you basically, do you wanna do the whole video or just like a certain part of it? Which is really good, because maybe it's a 30 minute video, but you only need a 20 minute, not even 20 minutes, I'm sorry, like a two minute section. Um, so you pick the section you want. And then what you're gonna do is, I don't, most people don't do voiceover, that basically voices over the entire video, so I wouldn't do that. Um, this is where you're gonna to wanna to live. So what you're gonna do is, you have kind of four options. I know it says three, but there's really four options here. So you wanna set it up so, whenever kids get to a certain spot in the video, so maybe they say here, I want to ask them, hey, in your own words, what is phenotype? So I would do an open-ended question here, okay? So I'd say, what is phenotype? And then I'd save it, and that's it. So now whenever they get to that spot in the video, it'll stop them, it'll force them to answer that question. And then you can get to a certain, you can do other parts and ask them different questions, okay? So maybe you want to get here, okay? And you can ask them, um, a multiple choice question, which you'll see is, is pretty easy. Type in the question and, and type in the correct answer or wrong answer. Same idea, it'll pop in right in there. And you have two other options. You have two note options, which I wanna show you. So notes are really good. A lot of people sometimes will put notes right in the beginning of the movie that just says, it's almost literally just like a note to them. It says like, as you watch this, keep in mind, yada yada, okay? Um, or it could be at a certain other spot of the video that you might say, like, did you notice how they use all capital letters here? So you wanna just pause and almost again, throw in your two cents. Um, so I say the fourth option, because what's really nice is that you can put your voice in there too. So instead of typing, you can just simply do something like this. Hey, when you get to this part here, notice how there's two big Bs and two little Bs, but they're both still exactly the same letter. And then you save it. So now when a kid gets to there, it'll actually be a verbal note from you, um, kind of maybe summarizing things or telling them to notice something like that, okay? So the, here we are, we built our video, we have a question, we got a couple of notes, and again, you can add as many of these as you would like um, and keep on messing around with them. And then when you're done though, you'd hit finish. And so it's as simple as you can see kind of where all your little markers are, where all your little notes and your questions are. So this is again, the question. And so to go back here, what we want to do is we want to now assign it to our class. So you just go over here, hit assign, and you pick your class you want to give it to or classes. It's up to you if you want to prevent skipping. So it means that they can't like just fast forward through parts, totally your call on what you want to do. If you want a due date, um, and then if you want to post it right to Google Classroom, which is what I recommend you do. And then you hit assign. Oops. I just assigned this to my Science Olympia kids. Um, <laughs> they're gonna probably be upset um, and confused. So I'll, I'll unassign that. But um, if I wanted to um, show you what it looked like from a kid point of view, they would just kind of go in and I can show you one. This is one I assigned earlier. This is here I am as like a student. It's on Google Classroom as an assignment and they basically get it here and they can just have to watch it. And as they go through, they answer questions and you'll see all their answers and so on and so forth. Um, going back to a teacher mode for a second, if you wanna see like progress about certain things, okay, you can click on, um, here, let me go back to this class. This is the one I was messing around with. You can click on it and you can see, hey, this 
kid watched 100% of the video. It'll tell you how much of the video they watched. It'll tell you what questions they did. So for here, I think I had a couple questions. I only finished 10% of the video. And you can look how they did on the questions and, and see all that. So it really gives you really good data. Um, but this should be everything you need to essentially get started with Edpuzzle. As always, I'm here to answer any questions you need.